Hi everybody! Well, it's the second week of February, so I think everybody must be getting excited because Valentine is here. Well, I hope um, you all have a great time and I hope you get what you expected or the unexpected, but so long it's positive. It will be on a Thursday, as I can see here. And um, I'm Shah from Charlie's Angel Tarot on YouTube and MeWe and Buddy Advice. And you can find uh, on Facebook. You can find the links just down here on the main page. You can become a free member down here and click on the bell to be notified. I am so grateful for everybody that's become a member and keeps on coming back. I love it and I think it's awesome. Um, I hope uh, you maintain liking my videos and coming back. And Millie is being a little pest, um, but she's growing. Look, and she comes on to uh, the live session with me and Matus as well, the cat. And some people say, and how is Millie and how's Matus? Anyway, if you would like to follow me on Facebook, you're more than welcome. You'll find the link down here as well. And also the information on the um, paranormal line that I work on in Holland. And it is top-paragnos.nl and I would love to hear your voice and I would love to read for you personally. If you want a personal reading, just send me an email and we'll get together. Um, for the first, uh, for the second week, this is the week, um, the reading uh, for the second week in February, we have the Fall of Raphael. And Raphael is standing in the background here. And he's come to make an offer. But the girl is only uh, watching the shells, the cups. It's really the, the, the card of the cups. She's only looking at the cups that are empty. And she's not seeing the cup next to her that is being offered. So please be conscious of what's happening around you. Perhaps somebody is inviting you to go out to dinner. Um, don't make more out of it than that and see what happens but be aware of invitations or um, offers of love or uh, perhaps a proposal of marriage or going on to the next level. In the second week um, we have the two of Michael, that's the two of swords and usually this is depicted from with a woman uh, that is blindfolded and holding two swords so please take the blindfold off in the beginning of February and be more conscious and aware of what is around you. And the two means also balance. So if you can see which way you're going or what you want and what is around you, then you can keep life in balance. Then in the third week we have the um, five of Raphael and you can't see cups here but you can see parcels and it always makes me think of Christmas and anyway um, like Valentine can also bring you gifts but she's all she's not in in the usually the it's somebody that's standing there and not seeing the cups that are full and they are looking at the empty cups and here is the other way around. She's looking at the present that's on the mantelpiece. So she is conscious. So you are conscious of what's happening around you. And you've um, uh, looked at things and sift them out. And you're using what you uh, what is useful for you, if you understand what I mean. Usually I, I, I take the information in and... Uh, I think about it and what is useless I throw away and I only use what is useful for me. So she's taken the advice of the first two weeks and she is seeing the offer that's being made. She's taking the right steps. She hasn't lost out yet and she's not crying over spilled milk. In the fourth week we have the Queen of Gabriel. And she, she's got a cat here. Um, she's got a cat by her feet. And the cat is also a protection. Like you can see, she's like um, 
Egyptianly dressed or uh, Eastern, and I think it's lovely depicted. This is the Queen of Staves of Gabriel, and she's independent. She goes for what she wants. She's the uh, Queen, like the Queen of Swords, like I always say. The Queen of Swords goes into action, usually without thinking, but she fights until the death. This Queen has logic creativity and passion. She knows what she wants, she goes for it, and she thought, she's thought it through. The Queen of Swords usually uh, is more of, right now, spontaneous. Sometimes that can be a negative thing as well. If you don't think things through, then you don't definitely don't know the outcome, but she does, and that's why she's going for it. So if you are in love with somebody, or if you want to go out with somebody, you have realized that in the third week and you're going to ask them out and you're going to go for it or it might be a new project it might be new work because the staves also um, represent work because of activity and passion and going for it now uh, for the catalytic card uh, this week we have um, prune um, so Prune is purple and it's got different shades of purple because it's got a light in the middle of it. Now you can see it. So the light is at the end of the tunnel. That's how I would interpret it. And um, it's a very spiritual card. And spiritual can also be uh, love and passion because it's something not tangible. So you feel it and it's there. So use your intuition this week in order to get what you want, go for it, go for the passion, go for the um, friendship, go for the partnership, go up for the next level. Just ask, know you have, When you in Holland they say, know you've got and yes you can get. So I think that's a lovely saying and uh, this card means over win your challenges. Just be truthful and integ uh, integrity. Have integrity and tell the truth. I admire you or I love you. I would like to go out with you. Let's see uh, where that will lead us. I think this is an amazing reading for the second week of February. I hope you've liked the reading and I hope to see you again next week, obviously. And uh, like I said in the beginning of the video, there's information down below. Take care and I hope you have a beautiful Valentine's Day. Love you all. Thank you.